what's up guys and welcome back to our Canucks GM mode. So in last episode we took on uh, the entire season simulation. I was going to say we took on somebody but we did the entire season simulation. And now we are up here in round number one up against the LA Kings. Uh, we've never faced LA in the playoffs before at least not that I remember. Um, they do not have a scary team at all in forwards, defense and goaltending probably reflects on their season record which was 44 33 and 5 we won our another another presence trophy during that season simulation uh finishing 58 22 and 2 um here's what our team looks like still going into the playoffs currently shifley is dropping um but this is probably his last season so we hopefully could give him another shot at a stanley cup he's down to an 84 but our team still looks pretty solid on the first three lines but then when you get to the fourth line Bitten's a really good center for the fourth line, but Afinisinkov and Stamkos, yeah, they're a little bit weak, but Stamkos had a very good season still as a 78 overall. He put up 34 points in 82 games as that overall was. He's never played in an NHL playoff game, so I'm hoping he continues that in the playoffs. Afinisinkov has played a, bit, a little, little bit last year, I think, in the playoffs against the San Jose Sharks, but that was it. So, Anyways, let's take a look and see if we could defeat these LA Kings so we have home ice for the entire playoffs since we won the presidents so game number one here in Rogers what is it Rogers arena I don't even know there's so much Rogers places or whatever so first period and it is a scoreless first period so shots are 10 to 8 in favor of the LA Kings of who I forgot to mention still have our former player Kevin Fiala he's on their first line second period and there you go Nolan Patrick opens up the scoring Good to see him getting some playoff goals because he didn't put up much in the last couple seasons in the playoffs. So I'm hoping for big things from him in this first round. And hopefully since Alboin is at full health in this playoffs, we get past the first round. Because last year we didn't have Alboin in the first round at all. And we were eliminated in seven games. And there's a big goal from Sam Bitten on the fourth line. And we have a 2 nothing lead here in the third. Can we lock it down despite being outshot? Yes, we can as Ewell Levy gets the empty netter and we are going to get a shutout in game number one. So just like last year, Gravel is getting shutouts in the playoffs. Last year, he got three shutouts in only four games or not four games in seven games. Um, even though we lost that uh, series, we still managed to have nice three shutout performance from him. He won all those games on home ice actually in shutouts. So he doesn't seem to play good on the road, but he's a good home goaltender. So, game number two here in uh, Vancouver again before we go back to Hollywood in LA. First period, and it's another scoreless first period. We're still getting a shot 10 to 6. Second period, and we get the goal again. So, Vince Mikulski gets the opening goal of game number two. It said he had two assists in game number one, so. He seems to be playing pretty good. Shots are 18 to 14 going into the third. Let's get some more insurance just like what we did last game and lock it down. And Kip Wheeler is going to tie the game at one for the LA Kings. Halfway through the period pretty much. Last five minutes here of the third. Come on guys, let's get that goal. If not, we could go here into overtime and get the goal. And we are going to go to overtime. We are out shooting though 31 to 23. Um, let's see if we can get it done here. Hopefully Gravel could stand on his head and a nice shot and it's a goal in the first minute of overtime. Ole Yuho Levy ta uh, takes us the game 2-1 final uh, with his second of the play playoffs already. So Cowan gets first star for LA. Yuho Levy second star with one goal and four hits and then Gravel with a .99 goals against average. 22 saves and a 956 per save percentage. And see, speaking of Gravel, he had a very good uh, regular season simulation. His goals against was really good, his save percentage and everything. So I think he might win the Vezina. He also had like 12 shutouts and stuff. So, And Nazarov is back, which is huge news going into game number three. He was injured for those first two games, so he still managed to get wins even without him. So... He's going to count against our roster thing, so we have to send down... Yeah, let's send down Clark. There you go, Clark. Go play in the AHL playoffs or something. And now we get to put Nazarov back into the lineup. Huge presence for our team. 89 overall. Offensive defenseman scores a lot of goals. And 
a couple of years ago in the playoffs, he scored like a couple of game winning goals in overtime. So hopefully he can like continue to help us out here and take us to the next round. So he's still kind of injured going into this game. So I'm going to put him on the second defense pairing and not on the first yet. But for next game, I might put him on the top one just once he's back to full health because I just don't really want him to get re-injured again and be out for like another few weeks or something. So game number three here in LA, I'm not changing anything because we still have yet to lose a game. So first period and we have the lead once again. So George Endress makes it one nothing with a tight angle shot beating Cowan. Shots are 11 on 10 in favor of us. Second period and we have a 2 nothing lead. So Sam Bitten with the second of the playoffs. We're out shooting him heavily 26 to 17. Let's just lock it down here in the third again. Gravel and take the series 3 nothing back to LA again for game number four. Last 10 minutes of the game. We almost have 30 shots here, catching up in shots a bit. Power play in the last five minutes and we don't score. Time is winding down and we are going to hold on to another shutout win for Alexis Gravel here in the playoffs. He's been a beast and he's only allowed one goal in the last three games. So he gets first star, Cowan gets second star, and Endress with the game winner gets third star. So still not going to change anything. This is a very short episode so far. But we are close to sweeping the LA Kings with ease. And our AHL team is up against the... Why does it say SJ? Wait, no, St. John's, that's why. They're going up in against the St. John's Ice Caps in round number one, which is Montreal's AHL affiliate. So... Game number four, can we sweep LA or is it going to go back to a game five? First period and it's still scoreless. So I'm expecting LA still to come back with a big period or something because like they've not been able to score that much on gravel at all. So shots are nine to seven in favor of LA. Second period, oh my God, three nothing. Uh, Stamkos with his first NHL playoff goal. Vince Mikulski and then Mark Scheifele make it three nothing. And we could just if we could just lock it down here in this third, we have swept the series and Gravel's literally only letting one goal still in this series. Four nothing as Endress gets his second of this uh postseason. He got a goal last game. Is Gravel gonna do it again? Gravel seems like he's been picking it up with his playoff performances as lately. And they break his shutout though, Shrimp, and then Janus decides to get one not even an empty netter. And we win 5-1, to one, so Shrimp breaks Gravel set out. But only two goals against in those four games, and we are off to round number two. So Gravel gets first star, Mikulski second star, and Janus gets the third star. So I don't even know why Janus puts up points in the playoffs, but he doesn't during the regular season. It's kind of weird. So yeah, as you can see, only two goals against in that first round. And we scored a total of 12 goals. So 12-2, to two, we outscored LA. And we're off to round number two. Um, so let's take a look at our player stats for round number one. And then we will simulate to see who we're up against in round number two. So player stats for the playoffs so far. So Mikulski leading the way with five points in four games. Shelly with four points in four games. You will leave you three points. Solzgren three points. Then with Festerani, Albeline. And then two points for Patrick, Horvat, Endress, Smith, Bitten, and Janus. And everybody else is one in below. Nazarov didn't have any points in his two games, but whatever. Wyman and Raffle actually didn't have any points either, which is kind of surprising. And Hunter had no points. Gold hitting wise, let's see. Gravel, holy shit, that's pretty amazing record. 4 0 with a 0. .5 goals against average, two goals against, 982 save percentage, and two shutouts. Like what I was talking about last uh, last year's playoffs when we played San Jose, he was actually a beast even though we lost. As you can see, we were three and four in the playoffs. He had a 1.73 goals against average and a 9.44 save percentage, and then three shutouts in those wins. So he is picking up his playoff performance. I hope it continues into round number two. So um, that's that. Now let's take a look at who we're up against in round number two. Hopefully it's a team that we still have had good luck with in the playoffs. It looks like it either might be Edmonton or San Jose, I think. So Nashville actually swept their first round as well. Still going on. Who are we going to face in round number two? It is going to be either Edmonton or San Jose, I think. 
and they're in game seven and it's going to be the San Jose Sharks so we played them last year in the playoffs and we got beaten seven games hopefully this year we have a redemption series I'm just gonna quickly save so let's take a look at what their lines look like it's probably the same as last year unless they lost people to retirement I think they lost Tyler Sagan during the offseason so we won't have to see Sagan at least but there is probably some still players that were there from last year like maybe if I don't remember if Hurdle was there or whatnot so view opponents why not CPU versus CPU so but on paper they have better offense better defense and we have better goaltending so hopefully gravel continues to be the story here in the playoffs for us and then this time we have home ice last year they had home ice so maybe that home ice will help us out as well so view opponents so radulov pensek and bega wow bega and pensek these guys are growing greatly 89 and 90 first overall in 2024 and second overall in 2023 just imagine if they still had raffle because raffle was originally a san jose pick but we traded from he would complement this line really nicely. Um, then you have Reichel Weirdre, who's an 89 as well. So very good top two centers. And Mason on the right side is really weak. Then you got Timo Meyer, Victor Rask, and Vlayatcheslav Prohorkin. Fourth line, Sylvester, Natanen, and Fanov. So this team is actually really nice all around. Yeah, it's pretty good for forward core. Defensively, they're actually nice as well. So they probably have a lethal power play. Jesse Percy and Madison Bowie back to back 88s and then you also got Jared Bukestad 88 and then you got John Klingberg who they picked up I guess from the Anaheim Ducks because that's where he was Shea Theodore is still there and Jeremy Waugh so yeah this is a really nice defensive core as well like it might be a hard team to beat and then goaltending wise 84 and an 83 should be able to beat that but you never know and then depth guy is an 83 so yeah this team is a very deep team and they might be a bit of a hard team to play against here in round number two. Hopefully we could uh, bite those Sharks back and win against them this time. Not like last year where we lost. So anyways guys, this is going to do it for this episode of Rick Next GM Mode. So in the next episode, we'll take on the San Jose Sharks and hope to get back to that Western Conference Finals. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.